Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle and today I'm going to review a unusual looking puzzle, not a mechanical puzzle this time, but an electronical puzzle called Space PCB. Quite an obvious name if you look at the puzzle because I, I mean it's a space themed PCB where all the activities happen. It's made and designed in Canada by Andy Gilker. It comes with an 3D printed body back here, also space themed. <laughs> Batteries are down here, can be replaced but not charged. And the task is to open up the lid back here, which happens if you solve the puzzle or should happen automatically if you solve the puzzle. But what to do to achieve it? It's quite interesting. I will turn down my light a bit because when I turn it on, you see that there are some LEDs, yeah? In reality, they are actually visible very well, but here it's kind of tricky to see them. So I hope in this video it will turn out well and you can see all the lights and everything going on here on this PCB. When I turn, when I tilt the puzzle like so, you can see all the LEDs on this puzzle, okay? They are not shining right now, but you can see how many LEDs are there. Each LED that is important replaces a planet. So we got three planetary systems over here and they are partially interfering okay so means some of the planets belong to multiple planetary systems and can switch between each other you can see sometimes here some light effects appearing but this has nothing to do with the puzzle as as far as i understood so we got three difficulty levels up here level one level two and level three this puzzle is creating a random solution that you need to achieve so if i press this button here solution it will show me a random generated solution to solve the puzzle i need to put the right colors on the right planets and the puzzle should be solved and what's pretty cool is every time i change the level or switch it on and off it creates another solution i need to achieve this time this is the solution this time this is the solution and with level one, which is the easiest one, there are only a few planets lighting up. With level two, there are already more planets lighting up and you need to achieve this solution. So it's a more complex solution. And with level three, an even more complex solution you need to achieve. And when I dial on the, I assume it's the star of each planetary system, I can switch the position of these lights. Okay, clockwise, counterclockwise. And when I press, press the button again at an empty star, a planet then another light will be added but it will add the color randomly which makes it more tricky okay and and another important detail i can also remove lights but only at this here which is which represents a black hole so everything that enters the event horizon of this black hole will be lost forever like in reality and it will be deleted again so quite an interesting concept nearly all of my puzzles are mechanic puzzles i have very few electronical ones and after spoiler break you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve the different levels of space pcb by andy gilker okay here we go small correction um i have to mention that the introduction of this video i recorded together with a solving episode as i usually do but in the end when trying to solve this puzzle i got crazy i didn't behave very strange sometimes the sensors didn't work properly it rotated in the wrong direction this one here didn't react at all i finished all three stages here level one two three but yeah but in the end i was quite unhappy therefore i contacted andy and he tried to reproduce my my issues or the issues I had with this puzzle but he was not able to reproduce my problems I tried myself to reproduce them I was also not able to do it and now the puzzle works perfectly fine and um, I decided because I really like this puzzle and the concept to repeat the solving video it generates a random solution anyway every time you do it so I solve each stage another time but I just want to mention this since it's not the first time I'm solving this puzzle as I usually do and I don't like acting as it would be my first time. So level one is set as a level one, as I mentioned. All these bling bling light effects you see around here like this one, they doesn't matter. Um, what matters are only these lights here. This is the solution. And I now can add lights over here, a red light, which need in the end to be here, here and here. So what I do now is I rotate this here downwards, down here, and then I rotate it over here and I add another one, a blue one, also a blue one in the solution. I will rotate, oh, I rotated now the red one in a black hole, which was a mistake. And the green one then later on here. 
So let's add another one, another green one. Two green ones are here, which is quite good, I think, since I can now rotate this one over here, rotate this, rotate this one over there, and then both of them one time up, and they are already in the right position now, as you can see. I, add an, I will move them away that they're not in the area which is interfering here or here, that they remain in the same position. In here, and then the other one over here, and now I move them like over here in the final position. Or one more down, I'll leave them here for some safety distance to the black hole. So basically, one of the green ones need to be eliminated, now I need a red one. Okay, another green one. Oh no, wrong direction, no, I eliminated one of the red ones. Okay, so this one need to go there, and this one need to go there, and then uh, that's it. Okay, then let's do it a different way. It's easier, I think. Move it here, get this one one time back, and now if I rotate it back, it should be solved. Here we go. Puzzle is solved. Stage one is solved. And every time you solve a stage, this nice an uh, animation appears, telling you you did something right. Making some nice fireworks, showing what colors are available. <laughs> Maybe the puzzle would have also been possible with more colors. And then, in the end, this secret compartment back here is opening. And in this compartment, there is a little astronaut contained, a USB astronaut. Ah, okay, has a little switch here on the back, it seems. And now, here we go. Here's the little astronaut. Now, when I now switch a level or turn the puzzle on and off, this will close. Sometimes it's closing fast, boom, and sometimes it's closing slow. Not sure what's the reason for this, but this was the solution for stage number one. Now comes stage number two, which is or works the same way, but is actually. Oh. And this happens when the astronaut is blocked. It will repeat this for a certain amount of times and then it will open again. And the reason is if I block the motor, I just will show it to you. Back here, there is the motor and I place the USB in front of the motor and it's blocked in the lever of this little servo. Therefore, it cannot close, okay? So now it's on the other side. And let me just close this now, watch out. <laughs> now it's closed. <laughs> and now, again, level two. Now this solution is more complex, more lights going on. So the solution is three times blue, three times green, three times red. And I'm just missing one red piece here. Getting piece by piece in and eliminating each wrong color. So I only leave it in if it's red. And it's a green one. I was lucky this time. Wow. Puzzle solved, all the stuff again. And now comes level three. And this is a level three solution. So most of the lights actually lighting up. Here we go, the red one is here, and now level three is solved as soon as I move it down here. Boom. Okay, so what do I like on this puzzle? Well, I like that the solution is randomized every time a new challenge, which is absolutely great idea. Different difficulty levels are also something nice from my point of view. <laughs> okay. From my personal point of view, I think it's not too difficult because I can kind of trick the solution. So instead of mixing the parts and trying to exchange the parts here with some complex sequences, it's actually, as I demonstrated to you with level three, it's actually quite easy to first solve this area and this area, which is independent from the centers. And then I will focus on specific points to just generate them and move them in place. And that's it pretty much. And in the end, this ring always remains and I only need to complete this ring by just elimin eliminating each wrong piece that I add in instantly with this ring down here. Okay, going this way and gone. 
So um, therefore I would only rate this with a level 3, also the highest difficulty level here. As soon as you understand how to solve it, you can do it. It's only a matter of time. So let me know in the comments and also let Andy know what you think about his puzzle. Do you agree with my difficulty rating? And that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling!